Good morning, everyone. I'm Michael. And I'm Lauren. Coming up on this morning on Monticello Today, Athlete of the Week, a Maniac Update, and of course, Turner Time. But first, we have a few announcements. This coming Monday, during first period, students will be able to cast their nominations for homecoming court. Hard to believe homecoming is just around the corner. Well, those French students are going to be here before you know it, and several of the young boys still need a place to stay. If your family can help, please see Mr. Keith in B208 today. College representatives are still pouring into Monticello to share all of the great things their schools have to offer. Here's a look at the representatives who will be visiting in the near future. Remember, if any of these colleges or universities interest you, be sure to sign up in P105 at least 24 hours in advance. Well, we did our best to keep the announcements brief today because there's so much more exciting things still to come. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, I'm Thomas with today's Monticello Sports Report. Last night, the volleyball team had a rough go against the Warriors. They lost 3 to nothing, and the field hockey team didn't fare much better. They fell to Western with a score of 5 to nothing. Both of the teams will be back in action next week against William Monroe and Fauquier. And after all, it is Friday, so before we start talking about tonight's festivities, Spencer is standing by with this week's Athlete of the Week. So I'm here with your Athlete of the Week, Georgia Prout. Georgia, tell us a little bit how the field hockey team is doing. Well, we got off to a slow start, but now that we're entering district play, we've really picked it up. And you're a team captain, correct? Yes, along with Maddie Combs and Zoe Brents. And explain to me how you keep the team motivated. Well, we like to do a lot of motivational speeches and cheers. All right, and there you have it, our Athlete of the Week. Well, tonight is the big night. For the first time in history, an undefeated Monticello takes on the unbeaten Western Warriors. It is sure to be a great game with a packed house. So packed that the tickets will be on sale during lunch again today. And the Maniacs sure do have a lot in store for the game tonight. Here's Max, Frank, and Darby to tell you all about it. All right, Mustangs, there's a tailgate tonight, 6 o'clock in the senior lot. Look for the crowd of people. It's going to be hype. The game starts at 7.30. It's against Western. It's going to be a good game. Also, there's a lot of alum alumni coming back, so it's going to be some fun. And as many of you all know, we're doing a black and pink out, so wear your black, wear your pink, come ready to go. It's going to be a hype game. Stay classy, Monticello. Remember, if you can't make it to the game, you can watch the live stream over the internet at jeffersondistrictsportsnetwork.com. And that covers all of the news and sports for this morning. Turner time is up next. Stay tuned. Good morning, staff and students. This is Dr. Turner. Welcome to Turner Time. Uh, I just have a few things I want to talk about uh, this morning. Uh, first, parking. Students, uh, please remember that the senior parking lot is, is just that. It's, it's for seniors. Um, if, um, if you park in a spot that's not yours, you're really uh, running the risk of being towed. Um, we had a big fiasco yesterday. I spent a considerable amount of time uh, working with some students trying to get that solved, and we still didn't. So please... Um, 
once you have uh, a, a decal, uh, you know, park in your in your spot, please. Um, also, I want to let you know that uh, we're going to start having more supervision and coverage down in the uh, stadium lot, uh, just to make sure that there's nothing going on that shouldn't be going on down there. So uh, please, please be on your best behavior. Um, also, uh, I was thinking about something. I was, I was walking through the building uh, earlier this week, and, and I had a chance to talk to, to Mr. Fairball, and we were just talking about school and education and students, and um, we started talking about memories, and, and Mr. Fairball said, you know what, that's what, that's what high school is supposed to be about. We're supposed to be uh, creating memories. Um, and he's so right. And I want to say that just, just for the simple fact that as students, uh, this should be one of the best times um, in your life. Um, you know, be, be, be active in school. Um, uh, uh, do well in your classes. Uh, participate in sports. Uh, uh, get, get connected in any way possible because as you get older and once you graduate, uh, the memories that you develop here, you will keep with you for a lifetime. And I'll give you a perfect example. Uh, last night I was here and I, was, I went to the volleyball game. I was there for a while and I, I went over to the improv session that the drama students were doing. And I just, just was watching the young people participate in events that, that uh, they have gravitated uh, to as students and, and just noticed that how well they were doing and, and those are things that they will always remember. Even when they get my age, um, I'm in my 40s. Um, you, you never will forget a positive memory. So I want you all to think about that when you come to school. Think about how you can make every day a positive one and create a positive memory. Um, and, and, and last but not least, as you know, the game is tonight. Um, two undefeated teams. I want you to come out. It's going to be a big night. Uh, and... and uh, I want you all to realize that somebody's O has got to go. So uh, you don't want to miss this. And uh, I'm going to be here. Uh, and I want you to have a good Friday, great weekend. And I'll see you next week. I'll see you at the game as well. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.